Welcome to Learning Life Content. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Your support helps us grow and motivates us to bring you more fascinating and enriching stories. From the dawn of civilization, humans have been captivated by the invisible forces that shape our world. These forces have not only influenced our daily lives, but have also inspired countless myths and legends. Gravity, with its relentless pull, keeps us grounded. It governs the motion of planets and the fall of an apple, a force so fundamental yet so profound. Sunlight, the source of life, nourishes and sustains us. Its rays drive the process of photosynthesis, enabling plants to thrive and providing energy for all living beings. And then there's magnetism, a force both mysterious and powerful, that has fascinated humankind for millennia. Its invisible lines of force can move objects without touch, a phenomenon that seemed magical to our ancestors. The ancient Greeks were among the first to document this invisible force. They meticulously recorded their observations, laying the groundwork for future scientific inquiry. They observed that certain stones, which we now call lodestones, possessed an uncanny ability to attract iron. These natural magnets were a source of endless wonder and speculation. This mysterious attraction sparked curiosity and ignited imaginations. Scholars and philosophers debated its origins and properties, often attributing it to mystical or divine forces. For centuries, magnetism was shrouded in mystery, often attributed to supernatural powers or divine intervention. Alchemists and mystics sought to harness its power, believing it held the key to hidden knowledge. But over time, through careful observation and experimentation, we began to unravel the mysteries of magnetism. Pioneering scientists like William Gilbert and Hans Christian Ørsted made groundbreaking discoveries that paved the way for modern electromagnetism. Today, our understanding of magnetism has grown profoundly, revolutionizing technology from the smallest electronic devices to massive high-speed trains. It plays a crucial role in medical imaging, transportation, and countless other applications that define our modern world. Our story begins with a humble rock, the lodestone, a naturally occurring magnet that has fascinated humans for millennia. This naturally magnetized piece of iron ore, often found near the Earth's surface, was humanity's first encounter with magnetism, a force that would eventually revolutionize our understanding of the natural world. The word lodestone itself is a clue to its past, derived from the Old English words lod meaning way or course, and stan meaning stone, indicating its use in navigation and its guiding properties. In ancient Greece, the philosopher Thales of Miletus was among the first to document the properties of lodestone. He noted its mysterious ability to attract iron, a phenomenon that puzzled and intrigued early thinkers. Thales observed its ability to attract iron and, remarkably, to impart this attractive force to other iron objects, laying the groundwork for future explorations into the nature of magnetism. Legends and myths surrounding lodestones abound, with tales of their mystical properties and their role in ancient navigation and alchemy. One story tells of a shepherd named Magnus, who noticed his iron-tipped staff being pulled towards a particular rock, leading to the discovery of this magnetic marvel. While the exact details of its discovery remain shrouded in the mists of time, one thing is certain. The lodestone ignited a spark of curiosity that would continue to burn for centuries to come, influencing countless scientific inquiries and technological advancements. While the ancient Greeks pondered the mysteries of lodestone, a world away, another civilization was harnessing its power in a groundbreaking invention, the compass. In ancient China, during the Han Dynasty, innovators discovered that a suspended piece of lodestone would consistently align itself in a north-south direction. This discovery, that an inanimate object could act as a guide, was nothing short of revolutionary. The first compasses were not used for seafaring, but for geomancy, the ancient Chinese practice of harmonizing human dwellings with the forces of nature. These early compasses, known as South Pointers, were often spoon-shaped pieces of lodestone placed on a bronze plate. Over time, the use of compasses evolved from geomancy to navigation, particularly at sea. 
Sailors found in the compass a reliable guide, enabling them to chart courses across vast oceans, opening up new trade routes. The compass stands as one of the most enduring and impactful inventions in history, transforming our relationship with the world around us. In the land of pharaohs and pyramids, magnetism was intertwined with the mystical and the divine, shaping the very essence of their civilization. The ancient Egyptians, renowned for their advanced knowledge of astronomy, mathematics and medicine, also recognized the unique properties of lodestone, a naturally magnetized mineral. Egyptian priests, believed to possess mystical powers, incorporated lodestone into their rituals and ceremonies, using it to channel what they perceived as cosmic energies. They believed these stones held a divine energy, capable of influencing health, fortune and even the afterlife, making lodestone an essential element in their spiritual practices. Amulets fashioned from lodestone were worn for protection, healing and to enhance spiritual awareness, often inscribed with hieroglyphs invoking the god's favour. Beyond the realm of the spiritual, the Egyptians also recognised the practical applications of lodestone, using it in various technological and architectural innovations. Some historians speculate that the Egyptians may have even used lodestone in the construction of their monumental pyramids, employing its magnetic properties to align these architectural marvels with astonishing precision, ensuring their alignment with celestial bodies. Across the ancient world, from the banks of the Nile to the Indus Valley, magnetism found its place in the healing arts weaving through the tapestry of ancient medical practices. In ancient India, practitioners of Ayurveda, a holistic system of medicine dating back over 5,000 years, recognized the potential of magnetism for therapeutic purposes. These healers meticulously documented their observations and treatments in ancient texts. Ayurvedic healers believed that lodestone possessed a balancing energy that could harmonize the body's vital forces, known as doshas. They theorized that the magnetic properties of lodestone could influence the flow of prana, or life energy, within the body. They used lodestone to treat a range of ailments, from headaches and muscle pain to digestive disorders and skin conditions. Detailed records describe the specific methods and rituals involved in these treatments. One common practice involved placing lodestones on specific points on the body, corresponding to energy centers known as chakras, believed to be the focal points of spiritual and physical energies, to restore balance and promote healing. These intricate procedures were often accompanied by chants and herbal concoctions to enhance the magnetic therapy's effectiveness. While modern science may not fully endorse all the claims of ancient healing practices, the use of magnets in medicine has persisted through the ages, evolving and adapting to new medical paradigms. As the Roman Empire crumbled, leaving behind a legacy of architectural marvels and scientific curiosity, and Europe entered the Middle Ages, a period often characterized by feudalism and the rise of monasticism, the torch of scientific inquiry was carried eastward along the ancient trade routes, where knowledge flowed as freely as goods. Arabic scholars, inheriting the knowledge of the Greeks and Romans, meticulously translated and expanded upon these ancient texts, made significant strides in understanding the natural world, delving into the mysteries of physics, astronomy and medicine, including the enigmatic force of magnetism, which they studied through early experiments and observations. One of the most notable figures in this intellectual renaissance was Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, whose contributions spanned multiple disciplines, a 9th century Persian mathematician and astronomer whose works laid the groundwork for future scientific endeavors. Al-Khwarizmi's work in algebra, particularly his book Kitab al-Jabra wal-Mukabala, laid the foundation for this branch of mathematics and his treatise on the astrolabe showcased his deep understanding of astronomy and navigation, tools essential for explorers and traders. Arabic scholars also made significant contributions to the development of the compass, an instrument that would revolutionize navigation, refining the design of early Chinese compasses, which were initially used for geomancy and later adapted for maritime navigation, and improving their accuracy and reliability, making them indispensable tools for sailors. These advances in compass technology 
proved invaluable for navigation, allowing for more precise and safer voyages, particularly for Arab traders who sailed across the Indian Ocean and beyond, establishing vast trading networks that connected East and West, fostering a rich exchange of goods, ideas and cultures that would shape the world for centuries to come. By the late Middle Ages, the compass, once a closely guarded secret of the East, had made its way to Europe, transforming the landscape of navigation and exploration. This transformative technology, combined with significant advances in shipbuilding techniques and the meticulous art of cartography, ushered in a new era of exploration and discovery, forever altering the course of history. European explorers venturing into uncharted waters and unknown territories relied heavily on the compass to guide their way, ensuring their voyages were both daring and precise. Christopher Columbus, on his historic voyage across the Atlantic in 1492, used a compass to maintain his course and navigate the vast, uncharted expanse of the ocean, leading to the monumental discovery of the New World. The compass became an indispensable tool for explorers, enabling them to chart new lands with unprecedented accuracy, establish vital trade routes, and expand the boundaries of the known world, fostering a spirit of adventure and curiosity. It revolutionized maritime trade, facilitating the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultures across continents, and laying the foundation for the interconnected world we know today. The compass, a symbol of human ingenuity and our insatiable thirst for knowledge, played a pivotal role in shaping the course of history guiding explorers to new horizons and unlocking the mysteries of the world. While the practical applications of magnetism had been evident for centuries, from the use of lodestones in ancient China to the navigational compasses guiding medieval sailors across uncharted seas, it was not until the 16th century, amidst the intellectual fervor of the Renaissance, that a comprehensive scientific study of magnetism emerged. This groundbreaking work was spearheaded by William Gilbert, an English physician and natural philosopher whose insatiable curiosity and methodical approach set him apart from his contemporaries. His seminal book, De Magnet, On the Magnet, published in 1600, laid the foundation for the scientific study of magnetism, meticulously documenting his experiments and observations. Gilbert, through meticulous experimentation and observation, conducted a series of groundbreaking experiments that challenged the prevailing myths of his time. He debunked many of the myths and misconceptions surrounding magnetism, such as the belief that garlic could disrupt a compass's function. Gilbert recognized that the Earth itself was a giant magnet, a revolutionary idea that explained why compasses consistently pointed north, aligning with the Earth's magnetic field. This insight not only advanced navigational techniques, but also paved the way for future explorations and discoveries. He also distinguished between static electricity and magnetism, demonstrating through careful experimentation that while both forces could attract objects, they were distinct phenomena with different properties. This distinction was crucial in the development of the fields of electromagnetism and electrical engineering. Gilbert's work marked a turning point in our understanding of magnetism, providing a solid empirical foundation that future scientists could build upon. His contributions shifted the focus from mystical interpretations to empirical observation, heralding a new era in the scientific study of natural phenomena. For centuries, electricity and magnetism, while recognized as distinct phenomena, remained separate fields of study. Scholars meticulously documented their observations, yet the connection eluded them. However, in the 19th century, a series of groundbreaking discoveries revealed the intimate connection between these two fundamental forces, giving rise to the field of electromagnetism. This era marked a turning point in scientific understanding. In 1820, Danish physicist Hans Christian Ørsted made a startling discovery. His curiosity and keen observation skills led him to an experiment that would change the course of science. While conducting an experiment with an electric current and a compass, he observed that the compass needle deflected when the current was switched on 
and off. This deflection was subtle yet significant. This simple yet profound observation demonstrated that electricity could produce magnetism, a revolutionary concept that would forever change our understanding of these forces. Orsted's insight bridged a gap that had puzzled scientists for centuries. Building on Orsted's work, English scientist Michael Faraday made another pivotal discovery. Faraday's relentless experimentation and innovative thinking pushed the boundaries of what was known. He found that a changing magnetic field could induce an electric current in a nearby conductor, a phenomenon known as electromagnetic induction. This discovery was not just theoretical, it had practical implications that would soon be realized. Faraday's discovery, the basis for the electric generator and transformer, revolutionized technology and laid the groundwork for the modern electrical age. His work paved the way for countless innovations that power our world today. From the smallest electronic devices like smartphones and laptops to massive high-speed trains that zip across continents, magnetism plays an indispensable role in countless aspects of our modern world, seamlessly integrating into our daily lives. One of the most transformative applications of magnetism is in the field of medicine. Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, a non-invasive imaging technique, uses powerful magnets and radio waves to create detailed images of the body's internal structures, providing unparalleled clarity. MRI has revolutionized medical diagnosis, allowing for early detection of diseases such as tumors, brain disorders, and spinal cord injuries. This technology enables physicians to detect and diagnose a wide range of conditions with unprecedented accuracy, improving patient outcomes significantly. In transportation, maglev, magnetic levitation trains, utilize the repulsive force of magnets to levitate above a track, eliminating friction and wear. This technology enables them to achieve incredibly high speeds, often exceeding 300 miles per hour, while maintaining a smooth and quiet ride. These futuristic trains offer a glimpse into a future of ultra-fast, energy-efficient transportation systems, potentially transforming how we travel and commute. From the ancient Greeks who marveled at the lodestone's ability to attract iron, to the scholars who meticulously documented its properties, to the modern scientists exploring the frontiers of quantum mechanics with cutting-edge equipment, magnetism has captivated the human imagination for millennia. It's a force that continues to surprise and inspire us, holding within its invisible embrace the potential to transform our world in ways we can only begin to imagine. From revolutionizing medical imaging to enabling high-speed maglev trains as we delve deeper into the mysteries of magnetism, we unlock new possibilities for technological innovation. The advancements in magnetic resonance imaging have already saved countless lives, and researchers are exploring the potential of spintronics, a field that harnesses the spin of electrons to create faster, more energy-efficient electronic devices. Imagine computers that operate at unprecedented speeds with minimal energy consumption. Quantum computers, which utilize the principles of quantum mechanics to perform complex calculations, rely on the manipulation of magnetic fields to store and process information. This could revolutionize data storage and encryption. The future of magnetism is brimming with possibilities. From enhancing renewable energy systems to developing new forms of transportation, the journey of discovery, begun with a humble rock, continues to this day, fueled by the same sense of wonder and thirst for knowledge that has driven us since the dawn of civilization. Each breakthrough builds upon the last, creating a tapestry of innovation. Thank you for watching Learning Life Content. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Your support helps us grow and motivates us to bring you more fascinating and enriching stories.